Hi, my name is Catherine Wendt with Syscon and thanks for taking a moment of your time. Today I wanted to share some updates on Sage 100 Contractor. So for our clients who use that, if you'd stay tuned and for those who don't, thanks for checking in. We'll catch you next time. For the rest of you using Sage 100 Contractor, I have a couple of updates for you. So first of all, in late December, uh, Sage released dot, uh, version 22.3.30 which is the federal tax table, and I had many of the states in there as well. And many of you upgraded during the month of January, many of you actually very early in the month, so you'd have those new tables available. That's great. Late January, Sage came out with another release with a handful of additional states. I wanted to remind each of you that when you get that notification from Sage, there's usually an attachment of release notes, and on there it'll say what was changed. So on that second one, the end of January, if you're not sure if you should install it or not, Open up those notes and take a look at the list of states. If it's one of yours, you should probably go ahead and do that upgrade again. If it's not, you're all set with what you did in late December. So by the way, there are two things about these upgrades I wanted to share with you. So the first is, um, they're getting very aggressive with some new warnings that look really dire. Uh, they even caught my attention, where you log in and you see a pop-up that says, you need to upgrade, and they want you on the latest version. And they're so dire that just this Monday, one of our clients panicked a little bit when she saw it, and she went ahead and installed the upgrade on a local workstation, which wasn't the right way to make all that happen. We had to get on an emergency call, back that all out, and so she could get back into the software and do payroll. Monday's a horrible day to upgrade. So be careful, these warnings sound dire, and I'm not suggesting you ignore upgrading, but give it some critical thought, and if you do feel you need to upgrade, make arrangements with whoever handles your IT so that can be done correctly and in a timely fashion. Uh, don't be scared by the warnings. Don't just do it. The second one is, with this release in late December, Sage added what they're calling a product enhancement feature. And basically, this product enhan enhancement feature is automatically activated, but you can opt out. We accidentally stumbled on it. So basically it is following up what parts of the program you're using and how you're using the program so they can collect data about that. If you do not want that, you can go to the Home and Resources tab. It's the first icon across the top. And second from the bottom, it'll say Product Enhancement. You can click on that and you can opt out. We have opted out. So there you go with that. So those are the two big deals for this latest upgrade. If you have any other questions, you know how to reach out to us for now. Have a great rest of your week.